on the call. As a reminder, if you have a question, please use the raised hand icon and um, I will call on you and we'll go ahead and get started right away. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Brian Sandalow from the Chicago Sun-Times. Hi, thanks for uh, putting this together. Hi, Frank. Thanks for making Brian. this time this afternoon. Uh, uh, just, uh, just a couple things. Just wondering, how would you evaluate Jordan Shakiri's performance so far this season? That's four games in, Brian. How would I evaluate? Uh, I, I think it can always be better, just like everyone else. It can always, it, it can always be better. So, I think there are moments when he. He is in good spots in the final third, and I think you can see his his uh, ability. I think even in the Columbus match, his ability to provide uh, uh, that final pass that that he can. I think there are times where I think he can do a lot more on his own, uh, whether attacking, finishing plays, and then I think just decision making at times when he's further away from the field. Uh, um, I think can uh, can be better, but you know we expect a lot more uh, from him and from the rest of the guys. Our expectations are high; they know that. So it, it, it's it's been early on uh, in the season, so it's hard. We could talk after ten games. Just wondering, though, just to follow up on that, um, why do you think that the you know the the uh, the attack seemed to click a little bit more when he left the field? Was it the formation change? Was it that other players fit? you know, fit together better? I mean, why do you think that happened, that the offense, I know there was a red card, but why the offense? No, I think like we, were more... pushing, we were pushing the game. I think even in, in the beginning as a, as a whole, I think it's difficult when you go, you have a game plan and you go, you know, you, you, you start in the first five minutes, you're losing 2-0. Then it becomes, that becomes really difficult. The other team is sitting really back. Uh, they're very compact in their 5-4-1 formation. It's a team that's really good in, in transition moments and you know then we're pushing a the game then you get more exposed and you're taking a lot more risk uh and then obviously there's a moment in a game where we have to push the game we we get the second goal uh and you know they get the red card and we're we're pushing a game we we played uh, with three three strikers really narrow so just to pin them in and uh you know i think the ability that we have as a team to change the game in certain moments it's been good but uh I think that game became difficult when we fell 2-0 uh, really uh, early on, and then uh, uh, we played a little bit more, not into their hands, but then, you know, we have to take a lot more risk, uh, you know, uh, as a team, and then they're a team that's just going to sit and look to Connor. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Next, we will go to Joe Chats from ONTAP Sportsnet. Thanks, E. Thanks, Frank. How's it going today? Hey, good, Joe. How are you? I'm doing well, Frank. If I could ask you quickly, I'm wondering if there's an update on Andrew uh, Gutman and his return uh, to the pitch. No, I don't. Sorry, guys. I don't have a date right now that I could tell you. He's still uh, doing stuff on his own on the side. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm also uh waiting to get some positive news when he can join the team but as of right now i haven't I, I i don't know the exact date i mean you've been out there and you've seen that he does a lot of stuff on his own as far as running but he has still not been involved with uh, uh with the group so i'm i'm waiting day to day to hear something from our medical staff that he can then he can start participating and doing certain things with the team but as of right now uh he has not thank you frank Thank you, Joe. Next, we will go to Jose Gudinho from Conexión Deportiva. Hi, coach. Um, quick question. I mean, without a doubt, it was an exciting victory uh, where the team's attitude stood out. But what are the things that need to be improved to prevent the team to from finding itself in a similar situation or having to fight until the end with a two-goal disadvantage? Yeah, no, I mean, I think the thing is, you look at our team in the first four games, we've scored eight goals, so we've created opportunities. But on the other hand, you know, we've given up nine, and that becomes really difficult then for us to, you know, to get results. We're not going to be scoring four goals every game, that's for sure. I think that, you know, we need to become a team that if we get two goals, we should be able to get results from there. So uh, I think as a whole, just uh, our, our ability and our, our focus and concentration uh, uh, our mentality, our ability to win duels uh, without the ball, that has to be improved. Uh, our set pieces, uh, set piece defending, the, you know, I think those are areas that 
uh, that we need to improve because we've given up way too many goals and we make it really difficult upon ourselves uh, uh, to to get anything out of games and that's been proven um, yeah, you know because when you in the four games you score two goals you know you you can easily say that we should have had more than four points so it, it, it's an area as, a, area as a whole as a group as a team that we need to improve the, the without the ball our mentality has to be you know getting behind the ball working much harder uh, staying more compact and making it more difficult for teams to uh, to get opportunities. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Alex Calabresi, Men in Red 97. Hey, Coach, how are you today? You're good, Alex. Good, good. Um, I want to ask about the goalkeeping situation because Chris Brady gets the opportunity to go to the Olympic team. Good chance for him. How do you feel about that going into this weekend with Spencer Ritchie likely getting his first start of the season? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, Spencer's an experienced guy uh, and uh, – you know, he always has to be ready because uh, you just never know. I think there's an opportunity that, you know, with the Open Cup match uh, today with our with our uh, uh, second team that he's going to get 45 minutes uh, to get some kind of rhythm in the match. But he's an experienced player and, uh, you know, I have confidence that he can step in and and and, and do a good job. And, uh, you know, it's not always easy for, for those positions, you know, and uh, uh, sometimes... You know, they also need uh, opportunities to play and get the rhythm. And that's why I think, you know, our second you know, team here becomes really handy in moments like this where we can, whether it's Spencer, whether it's Jeff, that they're able throughout the season to get minutes and make sure that they're always ready to, to, to step in and perform. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll go with Hernan Espinosa from La Fiera Deportiva. Hey, Frank, coach. Uh, good afternoon. Um, Hi, Hernan. If, uh, hello, sir. If uh, the Chicago uh, Fire 2, who plays the uh, U.S. Open Cup tonight, wins, it will be three wins for the Fire. You know, next pro team won. Uh, the Fire won last week. If they won tonight, there will be a, a, a third. Well, I want to see your opinions about uh, the players that are, uh, are called out to play the uh, U.S. Open Cup tonight. Uh, there are players that they didn't have any minutes in the team, but they're probably uh, going to do an excellent, excellent job, uh, you know, trying to show up what they have. Thank you. Yeah. No, Hernan, thank you. Yeah, good question. Uh, no, obviously, we will send some some players to get some minutes. Uh, guys like, you know, Carlos Teran, uh, Wyatt Damsberg, and, you know, Javier Casas, and uh, obviously with, with uh, uh, Spencer uh, to, to get minutes. I think that's... I think those games are, are valuable because I, I think this is practice is one thing, but the opportunity to play in real matches, um, um, I think, better prepares uh, uh, those players to to be ready for for uh, for the first team. So um, we're, we're we're excited about the game to see our second team. We're trying to help them with some of our for our team our first team players, and uh, I think they'll be ready and do a great job, and uh, they'll be prepared for. Uh, uh, for a game against uh, a New England uh, uh, come this weekend. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Alex Campbell from CHGO. Hey, Frank, how are you? Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Alex. How are you? I'm, I'm well. Just wanted to follow up on those last two questions then because there's been some speculation about this. So if, if somebody like Spencer Ritchie plays 45 tonight, or Carlos Tehran goes out and get minutes. Uh, as it's understood at this point, that does not preclude them from playing in Saturday's match against New England. That no, 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 it does not. Alex, was that your only question? Do you have a follow up? Nope, that's all I got. Just wanted to double check. That's what. Yeah, I... no, it does not. You can. They can play and and also be available for Saturday. Awesome. That's excellent to know. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. I see your hand is still up. We go yep. back to you. Uh, yeah, just uh, I know uh, it, it's still early in the season, but um, it's only been four games. But how would you evaluate the uh, replacement uh, referees and how much do you talk about that with your team? Uh, but I don't. Obviously, I love the referees the last game, so I leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. they're, they're trying to do their job. I think they've, they've been 
really good professionals and um i think they've so far they've done they've done a good job you know yeah smart answer i can argue i can argue no i mean the last game i guess in columbus that we got 12 minutes but extra time but you know it is what it is yeah and uh yeah just uh all right, that sounds like a good answer. And then uh, what do you think of the Justin Fields trade? Uh, I don't know. You have to tell me. You're the foot. You're, you're, I'm, I'm can talk about different kind of football, but not that kind of football, the American football, thought, you know? I thought you were a Bears fan. I am, but I go watch. I, I listen. He's gone, and I just, I'm going to root for the next guy that comes in. Hopefully, they bring someone good. I think or they're going to. Or someone that can get the job done, I guess. I don't know. I wish him the best. I don't know too much about uh, about uh, American football. I support all the the Chicago teams. I'm a Bears fan, like everyone else here. So, um, let's bring someone in. That's that that that's good. I guess I get you know, all pressure's right. on a GM. <laughs> that's right. Sounds good. I'll ask you about the Cubs and Sox next week. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Frank. Good to have you back, Brian. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank We're you. Good? Okay, guys. Uh, have a great day. Okay, thank you.
you. Great. You can hear me okay? I hear you clearly. Perfect. We will go right ahead and get started. Thank you everyone for joining us on the call. As a reminder, please use the raised hand icon if you have a question. And we'll go ahead and get started with Jose Gudinho from Conexión Deportiva. Hey, Toby, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Just fine, thank you. Quick question, has it been um, your adaptation period with the team? And what is your opinion of the MLS and these your your first games in the league? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a different league that uh, I've been used to. I've been playing in a couple of leagues, um, a lot of good players here. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, really, um, it's different football um, than what I've been used to. So I have to get more used to that. But yeah, I mean, like uh, great players, um, atmosphere, the stadiums uh, are really nice, uh, but but different. And just a little follow up. Uh, how different is it from what you expected? I know sometimes in Europe they kind of see the MLS like a lower division, but how 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 you see it compared with uh, Europe uh, leagues? No, I mean I don't. Yeah, of course it's uh, lower than uh, Premier League, of course. But I will say like I I mean it, it's different. It's difficult to to compare the leagues uh, because it's different kind of football. So what if an MLS team will go to Europe? You you ne you will never know like how how it be, how it would be um, the same if a Europe uh, club came to uh, MLS and play you you will never know because it's so different football the I will not say the mentality is is different everyone wants to win and I mean like the, the atmosphere the stadium here uh, the facilities uh, are top top level um, um, and definitely the best I ever tried so. I don't think you could compare it that way. I mean, it's uh, it's different kind of football, um, and I think um, players get to know a different way to play. Um, so yeah, I don't think you can compare it like uh, what's better. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Toby. Next, we will go to Alex Calabresi from Men in Red ninety seven. Uh, hey, Toby. First of all, nice to meet you. Welcome to Chicago. Uh, my question I wanted to ask about coming back from two goals down late in the last game, there's a, clearly an emotional high for the team. How do you get the team back down to earth? And what's the reaction you've seen this week going into the next game? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was uh, it was a huge win um, that we came back, uh, especially when you get uh, when you go down to to zero in like 12 minutes, it, that that's hard. That's really hard mentally, um, and the opponents is like, of course, uh, ahead of you because they are happy with the two goals. But I think we came back uh, extremely well. But I will say, like, yeah, Frank, we have saw some video. We know we have to to do a lot of things better. Um, especially myself, I had to do uh, some things uh, better. So yeah, I mean, uh, we are training extremely hard every week. Um, I think the coaches uh, are really pushing us to to get to know um, the, the things they really want. And we are training uh, a lot and we are training hard. So, I mean, it's not a problem to go down. We know that we have to keep going. We need to get some points. So, uh, nice with a win, but yeah, it should just give us the, um, give us the drive to, to reach for more. Thank you. Next, we will go to Joe Chats from ONTAP Sportsnet. Thanks, C. Thanks, Toby. How are you doing today, man? I'm good, thank you. I hope you're doing good as well. I am. I appreciate it. Uh, you've now had two opportunities to start alongside Rafa to your left and Alan on your right. I'm curious uh, how you felt next to those two players. Yeah, um, no, I mean, it's, it's really good football players. Um, <clears throat> or should I say a uh, good soccer player. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yeah, I mean the 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 first game I was playing, uh, Columbus was like, no, it was like a bit unlucky. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and we were not like aware uh, in the last minutes. Uh, otherwise, I think it was a good game. And yeah, then then I got subbed in the in the in the second game in the first half. Uh, so it, it's been good, uh, but. 
are p playing in a couple of clubs now. It takes time to to get to know the players. Um, that when Evan does this, I have to do that. Uh, when Rafa do that, I will have to do that. It it will take time. It takes time. It's like uh, it. We we are a lot of new players, and I mean, like especially the defense is like a lot of structure, a lot of uh, things that you need to know. Um, again, you come from something really different than uh, than here, so you have to get to know a lot of things. And when you've been playing, um, when you've done that system for a long time, you you need to get used to something else. So it, it will take time, but I mean, yeah, you can just you can look at them as great players. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we will go to Hernan Espinoza from La Fiera Deportiva. And Sofia, nice to meet you, uh, Hernan, La Fiera Deportiva. Uh, I want to know uh, your opinions on which player has impressed you the most in the team, or which player have you have uh, have you under his wing in the team uh, that you uh, would like to, uh, you know, uh, admire, or that you think that it's a very good player. I know you going to mention a lot of them, but uh, which player do you think it's uh, uh, like the main captain in the team uh, during the games? Thank you. I mean, that's, that's always a, a really difficult um, question uh, to, to answer um, because you can look at it like that way. You, you, you have your defenders, you have your midfielders, you have your the attackers. Uh, I think there's a lot of personalities on these teams. Um, you have a lot of great players, um, but but I think it, it's hard to really pick one. Um, to just say like like that's that's the main thing, and that's the main man. I, I think that hard, uh, but I will say like our, our winger um, Gucci, he's like he's so young, and I can just see you have a lot of things that is such a high quality. Um, but but I, I think it's it's too difficult to say like pick one man, but you can see different things in 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 players. Um, and I mean it's it's a really good squad and it's a really good team. Thank you, Alex Calabresi. I see your hand is still up. Do you have another question? Yes, I do. Thanks, E. Toby, there's going to be a change in goal this weekend with Richie coming in instead of Brady because he's with the national team. Does that change anything for you as a center back when the goalkeeper behind you is different? No, it, it is like um, it is like um, you you have to know like the goalkeepers have to know us, and of course we have some. We, there is some rules and ways we want to do it, but on the pitch is the. A lot of times about the connection, uh, but I mean like uh, both are great goalkeepers. Um, so it like no, it's like really doesn't make a big difference. Uh, you just have to know like we train with them every day. You just have to know what they want and what we want. And I think yeah, that that's that's it. It's uh, all about communication. Thank you, Joe. I see your hand is back up. Yes, thanks, E. Toby, I got to ask you a Chicago question. I saw that you investigated the Green River over the weekend. Were you prepared for Chicago's St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, uh, we heard a lot of things about it, that it will be, that it's beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and especially we saw all the people. Uh, we heard about it and I didn't know there would be that many people. It was unbelievable um there was a lot of pe a lot of people and we had a difficult time to get to the stadium actually but yep. it was it was a really nice experience and and people were just happy and i think a lot of them was were really drunk as well so yeah <laughs> no uh, it was it was a nice experience well thanks toby good luck this weekend thank you Thank you so much, Toby. Really appreciate your time. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on the call. Thank you, guys. Thank you.